Today's yokai watching us is the Gasha Dokuro. They are giant skeletons that wander around the countryside in the darkest hours of the night. Their teeth chatter and their bones rattle with the gachi gachi sound of the yokai's namesake. But they are not always noisy. If they should happen upon a human out late in the roads, they will silently creep up and catch their victims, crushing their, them in their hands or biting off their heads. Um, I would just like to say that these things are supposedly 15 times the size of, um, an ordinary man, where, like, okay, like, I'm 5 foot 10, um, so that would be, like, what, like, 75 feet tall, I guess, um, so where do they come from? Um, they're from a conglomeration of soldiers who have, uh, been left out in the fields, or victims of famine who die from un unknown causes in the wilderness. And they are said to have rarely received proper funerary rites, so they're probably, I guess, out for revenge. Um, these people die with anger and pain in their hearts. That energy remains long after their flesh has rotted from their bones. As their bodies decay, the anger ferments into a grudge against the living in general, which twists them into a supernatural force. When the bones of hundreds of victims gather together into one mass, they form the humongous skeletal monster known as the Gasha Dokuro. Too large and powerful to be slain, they maintain their existence until the energy and malice stored up in their bodies has completely burnt out. However, because of the large amount of uh, skeletons required to form a single one, these abominations are rarer today than they were in the past when wars and famine were a part of everyday life. One legend of them is it goes back over 1,000 years to a bloody rebellion against the central government by a samurai named Tyra no Moscato. His daughter, Takiyasha Hime, was a famous sorceress, and when he was killed for his revolt, his sister con 